Hello, my name is Rebecca Herrera. This is my audience. Okay, today I want to speak on a topic that I feel is very important, and that is our education system. So in today's society, we have been taught that in order to be successful, you must go to college and have a degree in order to be someone in life. Um, how many of you here have kids, plan on having kids, or have kids who have went through the education system and gone to school? Okay, Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. So here, I wanna show you a picture. And it says up here, um, for a fair selection, everybody has to take the same exam. Please climb the tree. So as you can see, these are different animals and it's talking about our education system. And the reason I show you that is because I want to, like the people, for those of you who have kids, I want to express how important it is not to compare them because they're all different. Standardized tests make children feel like they aren't good enough to go to college. They aren't good enough to be anything in life. A lot of children are creative. They want creativity. And our education system has cut out creativity. Um, they focus mainly on the sciences and the math and the languages. And creativity also has to be a part of that. Another reason why I should do the picture is because like I asked when we first started, some of you have kids and I personally have gone through this. I'm the oldest of three. My mom, I've, I'm going to college. My middle sister graduated high school, but she does not want to attend college. My mom is always comparing her to me and is always telling her, you have to do this, you have to do that in order to be successful. But my sister doesn't want to go to college. College is not for everyone. Not everyone succeeds in college. There has been studies that show that students who are forced to go to college fail because they don't want to be there. They're forced to be there. They're learning things they don't want to learn. It just all wraps back to being told you have to go. You're not good enough if you don't go. We can't judge every child because every child is different. Every child learns differently. And um, every child is made unique and will shine once it's their time to shine. Another thing is we have to we have to be able we have to be understanding when your child comes home and is showing you a paper and they don't do so well you cannot get onto them for not doing well they are a, they're going to be bright in the future you have to go with them step by step the education system has been designed for each child to go through the same course the same lectures the same way but you can't, it's not possible. Not every child, like I've said, learns the same way. Some children are visual learners. Some children are more hands-on learning, but it's all the same. If one child has to learn by looking at something, all children have to learn that way. And it's it cannot be that way. I don't, studies have shown that standardized tests are not very good either. They give the child nervousness to take the test, making them fear that they're going to fail or that something could go wrong. Um, but with everything going on, especially now with COVID, uh, a lot of online learning, a lot of kids are failing because they can't do online learning. They have to be able to be in class. They have to be able to know what's going on, what um, they want to see it visually. They cannot learn through a computer screen and that is okay. Um, another thing that has been affected by COVID is the SATs and the ACT scores, which in a good, in a way is a good thing, but also in a way is a bad thing because if I get accepted into a college and I'm not ready to go to that college or to go to college, then I'm setting myself up for failure. So eventually what the education system is doing is setting up our children for failure or to make them feel like they're failures and that they won't able, be able to succeed in life. It is okay for a child to go to trade school. It is okay for them to be an entrepreneur, make their own business. There's different ways to succeed in life besides getting a college education. 
they are eventually setting them up for failure because some aren't ready to go to big colleges and they are able to go because the low the standards have been lowered there have been many people that i know that i graduated with that have gone into the military that have started their own businesses that have gone into the trade and they're doing great they're being they're being successful in any ways that they can they're giving back to the communities so but the problem is that we go along with the social norms and we say we have to go to college college is a necessity college is not a necessity if you do not need a college degree and what you're going into and we have to understand that in conclusion therefore for those of you who have children here tonight go home and think about it think about how you treat your child when they come home and they give you a bad grade in math because they can't do math but they're art is 100 because they're doing great in art or they show more experience or interest to art than math that is okay you push them to be the best that they can be and they will succeed in life they will do amazing things they will brighten when it's their time to be to brighten every child is going to go at a different pace and that is okay always remember they can do anything that they want everything is possible there there's not a set rule that they have to follow don't compare them to other siblings don't compare them to other children because you as a parent are making them feel like they are not good enough to be anything um, you are making them feel like failures and that is not what it's about it's about you giving them the example you telling them that it's going to be okay when they don't do well that you are going to be there for them. You're going to help them no matter what. When they graduate high school, if they don't want to go to college, get them started on a job. You know, ask them what they want to do. Ask them their interests. If they want to go into the military, play a sport. Do they want to start their own business or just volunteer around until they find something? Eventually, they will find what's best for them and they will decide when it's time to go to college. Thank you.